Hi friends, welcome to Embedded Dialabs. In this tutorial, we are going to design PCB for an amplitude modulator using Proteus IDE. To download circuit diagram, simulation file and output files, kindly follow the links which are given below in the description. Now let's open Proteus. Select new project. Save the project. Then select next. Then create schematic. Then create PCB. Then next, next, finish. Go to schematic capture. Select component mode. Pick devices from the libraries. Need a BC one or two transistor. Then select resistors. Select resistor. And select point six watt. Twenty two K. Double click to add it. Then six point eight K. Then 4.7k, then 680 ohm, 680R, then we need a DC source, add it, and finally need capacitors and inductors. Select, go to generic, select R and R. Then we need capacitors. Select capacitor, go to generic, subcategory, select non electrolytic capacitor and electrolytic capacitor. We have selected all the components and click OK. Then name the circuit. Go to component mode and place the components. Then select 4.7k, then 6.8k, 22k, and 681. Then place this is source, then capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, then ceramic, then we need to place inductor. Pick ground from terminals. Now pick a signal generator from instruments. One is for information signal, another one is carrier. Then send astroscope to view the output waveforms. Before connecting, we need to give values to the components. For ceramic capacitor, it is to be 100 picofarad. For 
for inductor it is 90 micro henry make connections now need to give values to signal generators for information signal select information signal and change the values select ok for carrier carrier signal then make changes on the values and click ok save the file make sure all the connections have made now run the simulation as you see that a is an information signal b is a carrier frequency and c is the amplitude modulated waveform to view it properly adjust the frequency tab now you see it clearly that this is input signal this is carrier it is amplitude modulator on the carrier now you see that it is amplitude monitor if you vary the input signal voltage you can see the difference see how it is amplitude modulator then stop the simulation now save this circuit as simulation circuit go to file and export graphics select the export adobe pdf file send the file name as simulation circuit and save it this is a simulation circuit then we need to take a output waveform right click select setup make sure that black and white have selected then ok and again click on the tab and right click select print then print save the file now you see that this output this is carrier this is a signal this is carrier and this is amplitude modulator waveform now stop the simulation now we need we need to make it for pcb remove the input signal generators with the terminals and oscilloscope remove oscilloscope also go to common mode pick terminals or connectors select connector go to save select two pin connectors and click on ok to drain in the terminals which is information signal this is carrier signal and this is out 
now go to PCB layout select combat move here we can see that battery and uh, indicator are not having PCB footprint so I can go to schematic into set package for battery right click the battery and click packaging tool click ok select add go to connectors select terminal box select T block 2 which is to the terminal block double click to add it and specify pin numbers and assign package click on ok I'm going to US user DVC save package and click on that then go to inductor right click go to packaging tool select add this also connectors go to terminal box select two way terminal block which is 200 th width size double click to add it then assign pin number 1 to 1 2 to 2 then assign ok select ok select SIDVC save package and go to PCB we have uh, all the packages for respective components now save export this file to PCB circuit save it now assign ground to ground go to PCB layout select to the graphics box select board edge draw the board edge right click and make it to 20th go to components mouse and tools Go to auto placer, select auto placer. Make sure all the components are selected. Then click OK. All the components are placed. Now uh, align the input and output terminals. Now rearrange the border. Assign tool manager to net class. Select horizontal to bottom copper and click OK. Go to traces. Select default, check whether it is 40 or not. Click OK and go to auto placer and select begin routing. Here you can see that on track is top copper. We need to make it as bottom copper. Click on it and delete it. Go to traces.
After routing, we need to name the board. Go to text mode and select layer top silk on the board. I'm ready to model it up. Make it as ATTH and OK. Drag that into the PCB area. After routing, we need to print the output. Go to output, print the layout. Deselect top copper, top resist, bottom resist. We need bottom copper, top silk, and board edge. Make sure it is 100% and click OK. Save the file as template monolith of PCB. Save. Okay, thank you, friends. For any doubts, post your comments below or visit Embedded Day Labs. See you soon again with another tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.